Okay, here we are. Foley Square, Southern District of New York. Inner City Press is here. Today, the opening of the OneCoin trial, U.S. versus Mark Scott, here in the Southern District of New York. We're going to be covering it. We've been covering it in great detail in the run-up, and we're going to cover it in even more detail here as it plays out. Today, jury selection. So that's not necessarily the fastest day, but it is, will be a day, and they'll choose the jurors who will decide the fate of Mr. Mark Scott. Thursday, after the, the day of Mark Scott trial, there'll be another pretrial conference in the case of Mr. Konstantin Ignatov, uh, and we'll cover that as well. Um, so it's going to be quite something. Uh, where is Ruja? Some are asking. Will it come out? Sebastian Greenwood? What's happening? So we're looking forward to this. That's all I can say. But I must say, and the, the coverage throughout is going to be somewhat mixed. It's a global story, OneCoin. We will be covering the OneCoin trial here at the Southern District of New York. There, 500 parole. To be continued. Okay, here we are. We've just witnessed and reported on the pre-jury arguments and rulings of Judge Ramos in the OneCoin trial. Uh, Mark Scott, he's at the defense table with Arlen Devlo Brown at the government table. DeMaze, pretty much winning the arguments. Um, there was an argument to suppress the phone of Mr. Mark Scott's wife, Russian, as it turns out, using a Russian keyboard. Um, this was denied. This was denied. The, the, the agent, it seems, simply wasn't reckless, according, you know. Uh, the same agent will be available all trial, and so Mr. Devlin Brown has been, has been advised to call him as his own witness if he wants him. Uh, it turns out that Ruja Ignatova, Ignatova paid to rent an apartment right underneath Mr. Armento's <laughs> apartment and was able to find out when he became a cooperating witness. She's also caught on tape, according to the argument this morning, saying that uh, you know what those Russians can do. The defense is very concerned that the jury will think this means violence and that she's hanging with a bad crowd. Uh, the government seems to say it just meant hacking, only hacking. Anyway, we'll be doing a series of these as we go back and forth between the buildings here at SDNY. Heading back to the 500 Pearl because it's going to take a while to pick a jury. In fact, the jurors, I don't know if I'm allowed, we're definitely never going to show any photos of jurors. There was a big controversy about someone else doing that in the Honduras trial. But I can say that they're getting a kind of a film strip uh, about their duties as jurors generally. So the CSOs in the courtroom are like, it's going to be a while. And it will be a while. But I believe we'll have opening arguments before the end of the day if Judge Ramos is correct. And so far... He's correct. Okay. To be continued. Okay. Well, the jury's been selected in the uh, one coin, U.S. versus Scott case. It took all day. There were no, oral, there were no opening arguments today. They'll be tomorrow at 9.30, according to Judge Ramos. He did give some instructions about not reading social media, not talking to anyone, getting in early for the cafeteria bagels. But 9.30 it'll be. He told the lawyers to get there earlier. None of them had any issues at the end. So it's not much of an update, but it is at least the jury has been selected. Twelve jurors, four alternates, 